Hello, everybody, and welcome to Algebra 1 with Mr. Chavez. Today, what we're going to do is learn everything that has to do with graphs and finding the slope from a graph. And we're going to take this step by step. So we have our graph. The first thing we need to do is find two bullseye points. You can find more if you want, but we're trying to find two. Remember, bullseye points have to be whole integers. So what that means either has to be one comma one, one comma three, one comma four. I do not want no decimals. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first bullseye point I see is right here. And this is also my y-intercept. So I'm gonna keep going up the next one I see is right here. And then if you want, you could keep going up and it's right here. So all of those are bullseye points. Now that we have our three points, let's go ahead and try to label them. So the first point is this one. So I'm gonna draw dashes down to my x-axis and I know my x is zero, so I'm gonna put parentheses zero comma, and then my y axis, since it's right here, I know this is one, two, three, four. So zero comma four. One thing that could help is writing down the side, you can have zero comma four. Next thing. This is my next point, I'm gonna draw dashes going down to my x axis. And I know x is 1, 2, so it's going to be 2, comma, and then I'm going to draw to my y-axis, and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So my point is 2, comma, 7. And I'm going to write it on the side over here. Now let's go ahead and find the last one. So we have this point, I'm going to draw my lines going down, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's going to be 4, comma, draw my dotted lines going to the y-axis, and go down to the origin, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the last point is going to be 4, comma, 10. All right, now that we got our points, we could go ahead and put them into a table. So we know that this is my X, this is my Y, this is my X, this is my Y, this is my X, and this is my Y. So inputting them into a table should be pretty straightforward because all we're gonna do is draw a T. On the left side, I'm gonna put X. On the right side, I'm gonna put Y. And all we're gonna do is copy our coordinate pairs into the table. So the first one is x is zero, y is four. x is two, y is seven. x is four, y is 10. And that is how you input coordinate pairs into a table. If you have any questions, please let us know.